North Alabama football coming off of the big homecoming win over Mississippi College, a 34 to 17 win. And Coach Willis, let's talk about that win for just one second. Offensively, scored on the first five possessions of the first half. Defensively, held a rushing attack. Very strong rushing attack yeah. to almost under 100 yards their season average. Special teams wise, Chandler Carrera breaks his career long twice. Big returns in the return game. I mean, what can you say about all four phases of the game? Yeah, it was probably the most complete we've played. And um, it has to do with what, you know, they won the coin toss, gave us the ball, which if we had won it, we were going to take the ball. We wanted to get the ball, drive down, put some points on the board, get the option team to play from behind eat up some clock, you know, they eat up clock and time of possession as an option team. We wanted to do the same and you know, you had to help the defense out. So, you know, offense scored 21, I think, in the first quarter and the first half was all about the offense. Defense kept it in contain. We did get hit with a big play, uh, but we come back to the second half and the offense kind of had some struggles there and then defensively we held them to three and then Chandler makes his kicks, you know, I think had a career long and breaks his career long and then KJ Smith had some great returns. Just overall a good night. Uh, I think we have 14 straight now for homecoming. And also the 50th win all time on homecoming as well. Coach Damon Cox went over the century mark for the first time this season as well. He had 97 yards in the first half, finally got that 100 yard mark in the fourth quarter. Cortez Hall had 100 yards receiving as well. Two players that continue to play great for you the last couple of weeks. Yeah, Damon Cox is, uh, we, I think we've nicknamed him Mr. Consistent. It's been the same each week. You know, he don't have the top end speed and run away from you like maybe a Lamonte Thompson or Demarcus Blunt had, but at the end of the day, uh, he's gaining a lot of yards and he's making the passing game go. And, and you got to have a run game so you can throw the football. We haven't had a great run game here in the last couple of years, and this has been a good one for us this year. And then Lopez is getting better. I think just overall in, in this scheme that Coach Applin's got, it takes time. It's, it can be complicated. Uh, he's going to get better. And, and, and you go along with the wide receivers like Cortez, and, you know, they're just going to be fun to watch. I mean, we just got, you know, all these years to come with these guys. And so I only see them getting better. Next up on the road for the final Division One game of the season against Jackson State. What do you expect this weekend in Jackson, Mississippi? Well, I mean, you know, Coach Hughes does a great job. He's a good guy. I'm a friend of his, and um, you know, he's got a class program. And and you know, listen, it's going to be tough. Anytime you go on the road, you're playing on enemy's territory, and uh, it's a big old stadium. It's it's a lot of history there. The Egg Bowl used to be played there. I was a kid going to this stadium, uh, watching the Egg Bowl. Archie Manning's played in that stadium. So it's just a lot of history. It's a big stadium. Um, it's kind of like the movie Hoosers. You got to walk in. It's still a football field at 100 yards. You can't just get big eyed and think that, you know, we can't go in there and win a football game. But we just got to be ready to go. It's going to be a tough challenge. And I'd like to finish out Division I uh, with a winning record and go three and two against the five teams we play. North Alabama on the road this weekend taking on Jackson State. Be sure to visit RoarLines.com for more UNA football updates.